This is Raptor News. And times are crazy. Everything is getting or is very creepy at this moment. From the White House to my house. It is creepy. You know, we don't know if we're going to have a nuclear war. We're going to have an economic collapse. The great earthquake. We're going to go into darkness. Planets is going to show. We don't know anything at this moment. Anything can happen. And that is the time that we're living in. We have so many signs in the sky. Every day. I could put out these videos every single day now. That's how much is going on. It tells you what time it is. If you want to know the time. You know. And so. Uh. Early this morning, before the sun came up, I had a dream, or multiple dreams, you know, but they all intertwined with each other. I had a dream that it was like all black people, all black people in some type of, I don't know, I can't, I don't know if it was, it seemed like some kind of concentration camp or something, I don't know, but it wasn't bad for some reason, it wasn't like people were getting shot in the head and people was getting beat or anything like that or tortured it was there's was nothing like that it was kind of like you were on lockdown in this place i don't know what this place is you know um it, it was like large chain fences and they had armed guards and it, it was a weird thing you could go outside of the fence but if the alarm came on and you were on the outside of the fence you would get locked out and so i don't know what that was so me and my youngest daughter was on the outside of the fence going somewhere doing something you know outside of this camp and then uh we, we said okay we have to hurry up and get back before you know they locked these fences and once we got to the fence all the guards were at the fence you know and and they were standing guard and they had closed the, the gates and sounded the alarm and i was like okay the alarm went out they closed the gates are they gonna let us back in <laughs> and you know it seemed like if it was some kind of bad concentration camp you wouldn't want to go back in and so anyway um it was, it was some type of, type of safety inside this camp. Um, the alarms went off, and then it was like some kind of different alarms, and all the uh, guards were kind of edgy, you know. And then uh, they left their post at the fence and took off. I'm like, what? And the fences were like open, and so we went inside. And the people were like scampering, running, and stuff like that. And I looked up in the sky, and there was a spacecraft about the size of, I don't know, it seemed like it was about 100 miles long. 100 miles long. It was aerodynamic. Uh, it looked similar to this craft that I have right here. I put the color of it because it was some type of grayish black color, but it was like a swirly type of gray black color. But it was blended in and you know I this thing when this thing passed over our heads it was so frightening I was like what the I have never seen a craft that huge I mean if that wasn't a mothership I don't know what was but it seemed like something was um bombing it I didn't see any explosions or anything on the ship but it seems like another craft was flying overhead and it was like an aggressive craft a little smaller than that craft and um, this craft went back and forth over our heads very low to the ground I mean it was like oh my god if this thing crashed I don't know what happened and on this military base I had built a bomb shelter to only hold 25 people and, you know this is the dream and basically um, this thing had got so damn low to the ground I was like, if, if this thing just hit the ground, it's going to suffocate us all because it's so big, we're just going to be underneath it. You know, it was it was huge. It took up the whole sky. 
and um, I made a run for the bomb shelter, and, and other people were running for the, the bomb shelter. Almost everybody was running for the bomb shelter, and I was like, "All oh, these people can't fit," you know. And um, I was like, "Only 25 people," and I was like, very, very aggressive, like, "Only 25 people can go," and so um, 25 people. It was like mostly women, though. They ran inside there. A couple of men went in there, but it was like mostly women. And then uh, my daughter ran in there, I believe. And then I was on the outside and I was still looking at the craft going past. And I was like, oh my God, if that thing hit, you know. And it was it was flying down very low. And then I looked in the distance and I saw um, different planets and moons and stuff like that. You know, in the distance, they were there. It was like small, large, all different colors, like white moons. It was like a bunch of moons out there. And I was like, oh, my God. It was, it was all different sizes. And I was like, hey, you guys. You know, I'm, I'm yelling to the people in the bomb shelter because the rest of the people ran inside the building. And uh, I was like, it's all kinds of planets out here. And um, this is weird. I looked on the ground. And it was like ants, you know, crawling inside some kind of ant little compound. It was a bunch of ants, like black ants and red ants. And they was crawling in the compound. And then I was like, well, the ants are out. You know, and I looked down at the ground again. And then when I was looking at the ground, I was looking up, up. And then when I looked up, I saw the ants above my head. And then I yelled back to, to the people in the bomb shelter. Hey, you guys, the world turned upside down. The ants are above my head and the freaking uh, uh, space is below me. You know, it was it was weird and creepy. But yet I was standing on the ground. It seemed like the world had flipped some type of way. And then um, I opened up the bomb shelter to go inside, you know, because it was like very scary outside. And I didn't hear or see anybody in there. And then I was pulling out my flashlight so I can see if anybody was in there because it was like super quiet. It seemed like nobody was there. And then I woke up and I was like, man, what kind of dream is that, man? That was some crazy stuff, you know. Um, just like I said, you know, every single day now, I'm putting out vid videos almost every single day. But if you look on the net, other people are putting out videos every single day about all these um, meteorites, brimstones, hailstones, fire in the sky, what appears to be angels or craft all the time. Uh, planets by the sun and planets by the moon, uh, all different phenomena in the sky is way out right now. And just like I said, this is the time of uncertainty. You know, uh, it's like a long time ago, I would kill to be me right now. You know, just somebody who trying to be righteous to the best of their ability and trying not to do no sins, staying away from everything. I, I would, I would, you know, be very happy to be me. But then it's funny is like when you're yourself and, and you are that person, then it's still scary. And it's like, it's almost like, why, why is it still scary? Because meeting God is very frightening. You know what I mean? We're getting ready to meet God, and that's very frightening. You know, and a lot of us are not ready. I'm not ready. You know, I love God. You know, I love what God do. I love God's blessings and everything else that God has bestowed on us. You know, the good and the bad, you know. But, you know, I know the angels are going to be severe. They're going to rip these people to shreds. I know the meteors and the, fly, and, and the fire is not playing with nobody. And I know when God arrives, everybody is dead. You know what I mean? You're going to die at his presence. So um, it, it's, it, everything going to change. It's never going to be the same again. And the uncertainty of that is kind of scary. So let's wrap the news. You guys tell me what y'all believe or think in the comments. Peace.